We, we think we are sort of nearing an end to the, the multiple compression you're going to see among the large mega cap U.S. names because you've already seen a lot of multiple compression. You know, for perspective, a lot of the, the large caps, so Facebook, Alphabet, they're now trading at single digit cash flow multiples for 20 plus percent free cash flow growth. In some cases now, we've, we've looked at how Alphabet, as a for instance, is trading at a 25% discount to other consumer staples, despite the fact that the cash flow is going to grow four times faster. So we think the worst of the multiple compression is behind us, which means as we go into 2019, revisions are really going to be the key to driving out performance. Can I just challenge you on that? Because it's very clear to see there is a very compelling valuation argument to be had on the FANG stocks, as he said. But isn't there a risk of further downside, especially in the likes of Facebook and the likes of Google, given the regulatory overhang? which is still really playing out from yeah. a, a government perspective. I would, I would argue that the, the regulatory drumbeat is not going to go away. You know, we fully expect the regulatory drumbeat to continue to be loud into 2020 and into when different politicians try to position themselves to potentially run for president in 2020. With that said, with the multiples that where they already are, we think that a lot of the regulatory headlines are already priced into these names on the earnings. When you're talking about high single digit multiples for these still structurally winning assets that have really become almost utilities on the internet at this point, I think it's priced, which means that revisions are gonna be the key. Can they deliver better than expected top line growth, better than expected bottom line growth, and does that ultimately lead to outperformance in the names just based on higher earnings? So I think the regulatory stuff is priced in though, largely. Can you answer that question for 2019? Because your colleague, uh, Mike Wilson, was talking about the risk of uh, some serious, pre, uh, a serious earnings compression in 2019 from uh, double digits to yeah. the low single digits now. Is tech going to be part of that earning story rolling over next year? We don't think so as much, in particular with the mega caps, because the one of the big differences that we see for Alphabet, Facebook, Amazon, a lot of the, the tech leaders that we cover, they already are aggressive investors. You know, they have been they have been spending double digit percentages of their revenue on research and development for years. They spend billions of dollars on capex and capital expenditure every year. So that's not new. So I would argue that the the margin pressure that you might see across the S&P 500 is likely to be less so on the tech names because they've always been investors in all their new in new initiatives. So it isn't really a change kind of how to think about the overall earnings profile for the companies. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.